So designing your website to be mobile friendly and really designing it with mobile first in mind is critical for success. I mean, just think about yourself. Most of the time when you're browsing websites, you're probably on your phone, right? Studies show over 80% of people that are browsing the internet are doing so on their phone or a small size device. So you wanna make sure that your website is dialed when it comes to the mobile design. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through real examples of design mockups and just highlight some of the strengths and some tips that you can think about with your mobile design and maybe you can take it back to the fort and design a beautiful site for your business when it comes to mobile. Let's jump in. So first off, here's a design that looks pretty nice, pretty well done. You can see that the design on mobile is really good. It's clean, it's simple, and it's to the point, but it also looks good on desktop. And I think that's the goal here. It's not to disregard the desktop. It's really to keep the desktop in mind but to design that secondarily to the mobile design. The mobile design is what's most important because that's what over 80% of the people going to your website are generally on, they're on their phone. So you wanna make sure that's solid. So let's just highlight some of the tips with this design that I think are really good. Number one, they highlight right here, they have a clear message of the value, right? More energy, more results, more fun. That's exciting. And then a call to action here, claim your one-on-one -on -one consultation. So immediately above the fold, and what the fold means is I don't have to scroll down. I don't have to thumb down on this design on the desktop. I don't have to scroll down. I can see the key message and call to action right here above the fold. And it just has a short welcome message that's also fitting onto the screen there. But I can see on the desktop design here, this content would carry through on the mobile and just stack nicely, obviously, on the mobile design, which is very important. But one thing I like that they're doing here is it's saying, hey, don't struggle anymore by coming with us. That's good usage of uh, content and brand voice. You know, it's saying, hey, do you struggle with confidence or motivation or injury? And if you do, and that is calling to you, it's probably gonna want you to drive and dig in deeper. And I think that's a good tip. It's really great to use questions in your content. Use questions in your content. That really hits home with people. So what are the questions that you can ask your audiences that are on your site that will really identify with them and pull them in? And this is a great usage of that. Do you struggle with? And it just leads them to digging in deeper here. Nice job on that. Here, I really like how they're highlighting some of the benefits, right? They're highlighting the different benefits. And I think it's important to note, it's important with your designs on mobile and desktop to highlight the benefits, maybe not the features. Don't get so in the weeds with it. Highlight the big picture and the benefits and the value that people that work with you or buy your products or services are gonna receive. They'll identify with that. And then they build trust here. Nice job building trust with the testimonials, you know, any kind of certification you have, awards, that stuff is always helpful. And they close it out here with a nice call to action again at the end. Now on the mobile device, like the uh, top of the page is looking here, as you scroll down, all of this content on the desktop would just stack perfectly and look great on mobile. And it serves a great purpose of getting your message across for those that don't convert right away. Now the key to having a good call to action right on top above the fold is because people wanna get what they want fast, right? So just give them the option to do that. Allow them to get what they want quickly right there. They don't even need to scroll down. But for those that scroll down, this additional content is great to build additional knowledge and trust so that eventually, hopefully by the end, with the closing call to action, you're able to get them. Now let's take a look at another example. Here's an example of another business that also does a good job above the fold. So you can see on the desktop above the fold right here, it has the clear call to action with driving the visitor to browse the classes for this particular business who does online education. Now over here on the desktop, you can see same thing. They have a clear call to action above the fold. I don't need to scroll down and the button right there, browse our classes. Perfect, that's exactly what you want. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see how the stacking works on mobile. So here you can see additional content building more knowledge and more trust at this point. It's highlighting the different offerings that they have. So you can do swim training, music training, or online tutoring. So it allows you to see, oh, maybe I'm not interested in swimming, but I am in music. I can dig in deeper there if I didn't convert right away on top. And you can see here on mobile, this content just stacks perfectly. So as you scroll down, you'll see this box, then this box, then this box. 
that's exactly what you want. And that's an example of what you're seeing here on these mobile mockups. Now down here, you can see it has additional benefits that they're highlighting. So here again, this is talking about the benefits, not the specific features, but the benefits of what you'll receive. And that's exactly what you want to do there. And then lastly, build trust. Additional testim testimonials to build trust and reviews are always key. And so nice job on that. And then they close it out with an additional call to action to sign up for the newsletter. They could even add here additionally to browse classes if they wanted to even take this to the next level, but well done overall. Here's another example and let's walk through this. You can see above the fold again, they have a clear message call to action with a button to find out more or apply now. So you can see on the desktop, you can apply now or find out more. And on the mobile, you can apply now or you can find out more right there. You don't even need to scroll down. That's very well done. And then they have additional things here, what to expect. So maybe somebody that doesn't pull the trigger above the fold, they're gonna scroll down because they aren't sold yet. They want more information. So now you provide them with additional information. Hey, here's what to expect. This is building additional knowledge and trust to help them hopefully convert. Then there's additional information just about the business, helping them even learn more. And then it's talking about your success. That's where the benefits come in. Let's highlight what the benefit is. The benefit is you are going to be successful by working with us as a company. And then here at the very end, you can sign up for the newsletter, but you can also dig in deeper to all these other things to learn more about the business and hopefully eventually convert and become a customer. So well done overall, looks great. Okay, let's take a look at one last example here. And this one is just more of a mock-up, but it has great structure. And so that's why I wanted to share it because it just reinforces what we've been talking about. So here you can see above the fold, very simple messaging, simple, it's clear. Generally above the fold, what you're gonna want to articulate is who you are, what you do, and how to take action. And so that's what you wanna use the upper part of your page for so somebody doesn't even need to scroll down. They can get that information right there quickly and it really passes a two and a half second rule. Cause here's the deal, if this is complicated above the fold, particularly on mobile, like you're seeing here on this design uh, mock-up on the right side here, that has to be simple and clear because you have a two and a half second window to capture their interest and get them either A, to scroll down and learn more about you, or B, dig in deeper and convert. If they don't identify with the messaging here, they're gonna hit the back button and that's called a bounce. So you wanna make this simple so that within two and a half seconds, they can see who you are, what you do, and how to contact you, how to take action. And so this design does that well, it's simple, it's clear, and it's concise. Now, if they scroll down, there's additional placements for more content to build knowledge and trust. So here there's a content block where you can build additional knowledge about your product and service and the value. Here, what we do, this can highlight the benefits of what you do so that they can dig in deeper and learn more about those things that they're most interested in. And then down here, just learn more about the company, right? Maybe they just don't fully believe in what you do or the service that you have or the experience that you have. This is a good section to highlight what we do, our services, why us, that type of content. You can even have like they have here a blog. Maybe they just wanna dig in and see if you're truly an expert and you're actually talking about it in your blog. And lastly, at the bottom of the page, there's just more areas to add additional content, build more value, build more trust. And then finally, closing it out with an additional call to action. Let's get started, right? Let's move forward. Let's get a quote, which is what the call to action up here says. It's small, but it says get a free quote. That's the main call to action on this particular site. So hopefully looking at those designs gets the wheels turning on different ideas that you might be able to take back to your website to improve it for conversion on mobile and on desktop. Two other tips here with mobile. Number one, check out your competitors. Take a look at all your competitor sites on mobile and compare what they're doing with what you're doing. Maybe they're doing some things a little bit better than you and that'll give you ideas on things that you can improve and tighten up. Ultimately, your consumers are looking at your site and your competitor site and they're deciding who to do business with often by the quality of the design. So make sure that you come out on top when they go through that comparison. So start by taking a look at it yourself. The next tip is to test your mobile website on your mobile phone and your families and your friends. Test it on multiple devices. Just make sure that it works right. Click the links, navigate through the site, make sure it loads quickly. 
it's smooth, and it looks good. And also maybe have a friend or family member go through your site, just see what questions they have. If they don't understand certain things, if they're not able to easily navigate it, those are all areas that you can bullet list out as tips to improve your mobile design. So there you go, hopefully this was helpful. If you like the video, like it. Add a comment if there's additional tips that you have when it comes to mobile design and designing a beautiful mobile website. Thanks for watching and follow us for more content like this down the road. Happy marketing.